desperation, desire. They will lay bare a man's heart, a team's soul. Game four proved once and for all that Seattle is both strong and sure. We want to finish this year being the best basketball team we can be. And I think we're going to do that. And I think that might be a champion. A championship team? Perhaps. Seattle is just one win, a heartbeat away from the NBA Finals. I think it's the biggest game in my life, you know, because uh, the last four is, is through. I think closing a series out is the biggest thing to any team because the other team are coming in it as well. We ain't got nothing to lose. We got to beat them three times. They only got to beat us one. We're playing at their place, and we just come out and give a charge and see what kind of energy we get. We might can get back in this, and this is when a team lets down. They, you know, uh, we three, we one win away. All we have to do is just come out here and play, and that's not it. Surprising that Seattle has such a stranglehold on this series without getting a dominating performance from their star forward, Sean Kemp. Kemp's performances have been limited by foul troubles, by mental mistakes, and by turnovers. Throw out game one, which was a blowout. That hasn't been a good time for Sean Kemp. Fortunately, though, Seattle does have Sam Perkins, who has come through big time with clutch outside shooting, a solid post-up game, and terrific defense and rebounding. Sean Kemp Excuse me, Sam Perkins averaging 16 points a game in the winning games. It's been time now for Seattle to close the door and thank Utah for coming to their party. Yeah, but Utah, not a team to be counted out quickly. They were winners of 55 games during the regular season. Theirs is an uphill struggle. They have to win at least two in a row to force a game seven. Jerry Sloan, the head coach of the Jazz, his attitude is very basic. If you, go, if you got any competitive blood then you'll come and play. If you don't, you just uh, try to get it over and go home. I'm anxious to see us play. I'm anxious to see who we are in that situation because I feel like we'll come and play hard. We know we've got a difficult task ahead of us, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the exciting part of sports. Well, Jerry Sloan expects his jazz band to play some bright music tonight. 
they have controlled the tempo in three of the four games and they feel that a little bit of luck they could be up 3-1. You go back to John Stockton's shot on Sunday afternoon. He had the game winner in his hand and this is a shot that John Stockton has cashed many times throughout his career but that kind of typifies the quagmire that John Stockton has been stuck in through this series. They are waiting for the real John Stockton to show up and if they do Jazz are going to extend the series. They'll have to do something they've never done, and that's win a road game in the Western Conference Finals. We'll have the starting lineups and the opening tap coming up from Seattle in a couple of moments. First, we'll send you to Bob Costas in our Showtime studio in New York. You'll hear from Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal. All of that coming up right after this.